What do you do when you have a medical condition that means using a wheelchair would be helpful, but the only chair you can find is gross and boring? Do you learn to live with it because you understand that having a condition like this just means getting the short end of the stick all the time? Of course not. So what do you do? Well, we'll show you. So, um, Michaela has a condition, it's called POTS, and basically it means that she uh, doesn't tolerate postural change very well, and if she's standing for too long a period of time, or um, if she changes posture too fast, like if she's sitting and goes to stand, or she's walking, that kind of stuff, um, almost anything posture related can cause her to have, um, be, to, to be dizzy, or lightheaded, or sometimes even pass out. So this condition makes it a lot more difficult for her to do things like go to work or go to school. So um, we've been looking for different workarounds. Um, she's tried physical therapy. She does see like a myriad of doctors about this condition. However, um, she hasn't really found much relief. So we decided that a wheelchair might be a good option for her because it would allow her to stay in one um, posture, like one position. And so she would not be changing positions often. She would not be standing for too long or walking for too long. So um, we decided that would be a good idea. So when we found this wheelchair at the thrift store, we um, purchased it. And even though it didn't look too great, we were like, you know what, let's make this this fun. Because, you know, you know, having to be in a wheelchair is not very fun. So we thought that it would be nice for it to, to look cool and to, you know, be a fun art project for us to do. So we got the chair and then we decided that we were gonna do a couple different things. We wanted to spray paint it a different color. Um, we wanted to make a like back cover for the back part of the chair and then a seat cushion for the seat of the chair. And then we also wanted to wrap the handles of it in like a cushy yarn that she could play with. She um, likes to use fidget toys. Um, so we decided something like that would also be nice as well. So of course we had to start by taping up every part of the chair that we did not want to get spray paint on it. And that took us a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so this is our fully covered chair. So we've got all the painter's tape on there and the garbage bags. I decided to tape up the brakes too, and then whatever that is, I'm not sure if you guys know what it is, comment down below. Um, it's just a little metal rod thing. Um, we taped up the wheels and stuff like that, so it still rolls around, which is fine. Getting the tarp set up outside, and we're gonna change into painting clothes, and then we will be ready, right, Michaela? Painting. We're painting this wheelchair. We're painting this wheelchair. Are you zooming in? Are you ready? Are you ready, Megan? So this is our little setup out here. We've got some tarps on the ground and some against the fence because I don't want to spray paint their fence. Yes, we do. No, I don't think the fence should be color shifting teal purple. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited. This should definitely be enough space for like two wheelchairs. Um, and then we just need to be able to move around it to paint. Um, so we're gonna go change into painting clothes and then we will be back out. Hey guys. Uh, we fucked up. Hi. Here's what happened. Oh. Michaela and I are stupid and we read the instructions in the store and they said, well, we, it said to use a primer and we're like, okay, we'll get a primer and we got white and you need black. So 
we can go get black. We fucked up. It's fine. So I'm going to drop them off at Joanne's. They're going to get the other paint and return the white one. And they're going to get the other paint. The can we get chalk? No. We're going to go. I am. Oh my God. This fucks up our plans. I am so scared that it's going to rain. I mean, like it looks okay outside right now, but like, I'm really afraid that it's going to rain. I'll check for you. Got you. Well, I know it's gonna rain at some point today. I just, oh my God, I hope we have enough time. So we're gonna take my very loud car and we're gonna go. We just got out of Joann's after we went. We hit the dollar store okay. and we hit Joann's. I thought you had... We didn't get yarn. We did not get any yarn because there wasn't the yarn that she wanted there. So wah, wah, wah. we're gonna, after it starts raining, like after we, maybe after we get the first coat on, we're gonna go over to Walmart and get the yarn. While well, it dries? Well, the first coat dries. Um, Cause it has to dry for, what, an hour, you said? No, the last coat you do is an hour. Oh, okay. So then we'll do all the coats and then we'll wait for the, the last, once we get to the last one, it'll have to dry for an hour. So that's what we're gonna do. Everything's cool, oh my it's gosh. Yarn. Can I sit here? You can't see her, she's back there. Hello. Hey, hey, baby bottle, pop. Fine. Pray for me, pray for us, pray for everybody, pray for Aww. everyone, pray for the world, pray, 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 pray. Is everyone praying? Are we all praying? I can't pray, I don't have our hands for it. Pray with your mind. So, we will get back to you guys when we start painting. Um, basically what we have to do is we have to put down the flat black until the whole thing is like pretty well coated with the black. And then um, we're gonna paint over it in the in the turquoise stuff. But we have to let the black dry for like an hour. So yeah. Oh my god. All right. We got this. We got this. We got this. And then when we got home, we started painting. So basically we have to, we finished painting the first base coat. Ooh, ooh. Base coat, yes. Right now we are going to Walmart to get yarn while the first coat is drying. And then when we get back and it's been an hour since it started drying, we will um, do the top coat. What kind of, what color yarn are you gonna get? I don't know yet. I don't know what they have. All right. Woo! Okay, so now we are gonna do the next coat, which is our actual color. So that's really exciting. I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna go wash my hands off though first because I still have black all over my hands. Wait, where's the... So this is the color we picked. It's kind of like a teals, turquoise, purple color shift glitter color. So that's what we picked. So then we put on our purple and teal turquoise color shifting uh, glitter top coat onto the black base coat and it was looking pretty cool.
Welcome to okay. Behind the Scenes Crew. Welcome to Behind the Scenes Crew. So, um, we finished like the paint basically. Now we just have to wait for it to dry for I'm I see the thing is it says an hour. I want to wait like longer than that. Hour and a half? Something like that. Check Maybe on two it hours. Now. Yeah, so we'll check on it in an hour and we'll do a test spot like under the chair. Michaela has a few spots she wants to go over again. We'll see how it dries. Yeah, and then we'll we'll let that dry again. And then right now what we're doing is Michaela's is do, doing the back of the chair. So that the seat cover. So that's the seat cover. And then we're going to make the cushions. We have this um mattress pat thing. Our original one got tossed. Yeah, so the original one we were gonna use got thrown away, but and I'm upset. this one is fine. So I almost wonder if you want to use two layers of this. Possibly, yeah. So we're gonna cut this, see how it looks. So this is kind of our workshop down here. Um, the boys are laying over there, but boys are back in town. Basically, we have like all of the iridescent wow. paint on there. Amazing. It does, it looks really cool. However, we did, when we went to, um, we had to go to Walmart to get the yarn, right? And we did get some glow in the dark paint. So we're gonna do that on the wheels. Um, depending on how it looks right now. I think we should, because I think the wheels look kind of dirty. Um, so we'll do it on the wheels. And then we have that yarn to wrap around the handles. I'm gonna wrap the handles while she paints the wheels. So, that's the plan. Woo! Wow. What? Wow. Is it bright? Wow. It's blinding. It's blinding. It is I mean, blinding. I see the drippage on the side, but I don't, I really don't think there's anything we can do about that. Why don't you try painting a top coat on it? So get get this get the they're in the garage. It's difficult to get like the full effect on the camera. But it's like a metallic iridescent blue purple. Turquoise to purple. Correction. Sorry, turquoise to purple. It's very pretty. Thank you. My friend Gabby helped me with it. Oh, wow. She must be really nice. Yeah. Only some days. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Did that do any better? A little. Like, as you, you can kind of see, like, the drippage sort of effect. I don't think it's terrible looking. No. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if we can fix that. <laughs> so the decision we've kind of made is that um, it's better if we just leave it. And anyway, you can decide to put Velcro on the side of it, too, and kind of cover it. Or there's, like, wheelchair bags you could put on the sides and cover it, too. So there's a ton of different things we can do for that. Um, we're just going to leave the paint the way it is. So... The next thing that we're doing is we've cut out the cushions. So we've decided to do three layers of the mattress stuff. So it's, it's three inches thick. And then this might be for the handlebars. We're gonna put it under the yarn. We, we will see if we decide that that is good. So we're cutting, we cut all that. So we have all four pieces. And now Kayla just needs to get up and sew. Okay, so the seat cover is done. The seat cover is done, the cushion is done. Now, we are going to paint the wheels by hand. It's still very cool, I love it. Just the color shift is really fun. Like if you stand over here, it's purple, but if you stand over there, then it's blue. Woo! But the next thing that we gotta do is, um, 
we have to paint it. So we have our, we're gonna get our paint and we're gonna take all the tape off of the wheels and the handles and paint those. I have now cut these two um, plush thingies. I've tried a couple times over there, but I cut these two plush things out of the same fab, uh, same um, foam that we made the seat, um, the cushion out of, and I'm now um, tying them on, and then I'm going to wrap the whole thing in this plush yarn. So, we've got a, quite a bit of it. I'm hoping to have enough to wrap both handles pretty well. We've got all the dogs out here, so. Um, Although we could close the garage door and then... We're trying to watch them, make sure they're not having any issues. But um, basically, it's Michaela... It's not like we're working with anymore, but... Michaela is painting the wheels black and then painting glow-in-the-dark paint. Woohoo! Okay, so, we wrapped these guys, so they are quite plush. Very squishy. It is raining. We got it in in the nick of time. Oh my gosh. We were so close to not making it. But um, basically, painted the handle of those black um, and the wheels. And we also did the wheels um, glow in the dark. So all four of the wheels should glow in the dark. Theoretically. Theoretically. So now we have to wait for it to dry because basically all the metal is dry. So like all of that is fine, but this stuff is like sticky. So I think what I'm gonna have her do is wait for 48 hours. Um, in 48 hours, it should be fully dry. Wamp, wamp. Um, and then at that point, that is when we will try the back cover and the um, cushion on there, right? Yeah, I'm tired too. It's been a long day, but look at this. Look at all we did. Like, even though it's not perfect, it still looks really cool. It does. It looks awesome. I think it looks really cool. So that's going to be awesome. So basically what happened here is um, the spray paint on top of the vinyl never dried. It stayed sticky for about 48 hours. It was still really, really sticky by then. Um, and... Um, we realized that we probably should have just spray painted it. Um, it was my idea, so I'm the stupid one here, but we needed to come up with some kind of solution. Update, we set it out in the sun all day and it's still really sticky. So I think I'm gonna go get, I think what we're do is we're gonna go get some duct tape from Walmart and we're gonna redneck it. Or we're gonna DIY it a little. We're gonna duct tape the chair and we'll see if that helps, I guess, or maybe like get a rug or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm running to Walmart right now. And then I'm going to pick up duct tape because we're gonna DIY it. And uh, I'll see you when we get there. So she got some duct tape, um, but just in case, I wanted to see if I could still fix it. So I came over the next day and um, we tried to figure something else out. Okay, so chair update. Um, it's been a couple days. Um, we tried to let it dry for as long as possible. Um, but basically, it looks like the back seat is not drying. Um, like the seat on the back and the thing. And also the handles. So we are using duct tape to duct tape those. But first, we're going to go see if we can get some goof off for the, maybe the seat too. But we're probably still going to cover it in duct tape. So we'll see. So we are we are going to Walmart um, to get goof off and possibly look at like handle options that might replace handles and maybe get some scrubbies and maybe some scrubbies. Scrubbies would be good because I have little scrub strength. I have zero scrub strength. I can't close this hand right so now. So basically, I I tried to get the paint off the handle. I vlogged a little bit on my phone that I'll put in this vlog because I just 
I was like, hey, I'm going to Walmart to get duct tape and then didn't vlog anything else. Basically, <laughs> I got the duct tape. We duct taped the seat. It's It looks like someone rednecked it, so that's my goals. Um, but as you guys might know or might not know, I, I've now been diagnosed with IBS, which means that sometimes because of the medicine I take, I have bowel accidents. Woo! Want to talk about that on the internet. Um, but the duct tape, I think, will work a little better in terms of like being able to clean it up so you can just do one and done. <laughs> so we are now going in. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay, so we got allergy medicine. Mucinex, non sponsored. And now we need non sponsored, yeah, I hope not. Um, and then we need. Um, you can get a bunch of water balloons. Oh, let's look at bike handle grips. That oh, might be she a good has idea. Great idea. So we Isn't didn't that find what any my dad handles. Yesterday? Yeah, so we hey, didn't. Hey, look! A cheaper <laughs> water brush. So if we're looking Ooh. at. You don't. I'm, oh wait! I'm showing you. Like, see, look at those. Those go in the wheel. That's cool. It is cool. It's almost like I thought first. What is this? Jesus. What's this? It's an electronic handlebar. Bill. Riding your bike and you go. Yeah, I guess. Okay, can you stop? Okay, so we're looking for handle replacements. So, oh, here you go. Bike gloves? Try these gloves on. They look really small. I don't think that these would fit over it. No, you cut off the handles. We'd have to, like, saw it off. Yeah. We can't do that. And then you put this around it. There won't be metal underneath it. It is. Well, there's not. No, you slide this over what metal is left. There isn't metal left. It doesn't fit the bottom. Okay. I mean, is that how it's supposed to be? I thought you were supposed to have stuff on here so that you can... Wheel no, the part that matters is right here. Wheel around the rosy. Help. You can get them off. Well, uh, no luck here. I think we can still scrub it off. Okay, then we'll try but that. Do we need, like, wheel stuff? What do you mean, wheel stuff? I don't know. Make the wheels be good? I don't know. I don't do... I don't do this. Chain degreaser tube sealant. We can get me a skateboard. You don't need a skateboard. Alright. Keep going. Alright. So, now we're gonna go look for goof off and scrubby thing. Okay, so we're out of Walmart now. Gabby got nonverbal because I walked away to go find the goof off. <laughs> no fun. She got stressed. Yeah, lost. Like, if that paint don't effing come off, it better give me a refund. <laughs> the paint. The paint. The company that sells the paint. Rustoleum, you're giving me a refund if they don't come off. So we're going. But we got two different types of goof off. We got goof off, the brand name, and then we got good, no, goo off. goo off, and then we get, we got it so that it's the it's um, good for floors, ladders, and something else. We're gonna try both. We're gonna see what happens. Maybe, maybe it'll work really well on the seat and then we'll have to take the tape off the chair. We'll see. So we're going to Bethesda now. We're going to her favorite place on Earth. Okay, so we're back. We got the goo gun and stuff. I am duct taping the bottom of the chair. Hi, me. Mia. Me, 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 me. Hi, baby girl. We're gonna attempt to scrub all of the paint off of the seat and the handles. Um. And then, once we do that... No, it's yourself. You're not supposed to get it on your skin. Why? 
It says don't get it on your skin. Well, you're not really supposed to, no. But it got on my skin. Now my skin smells like oranges. It's fine. It's fine. So, that is what we're doing. I'm scrubbing it. It's working-ish. Not one. It's just taking, like, a while. So... Fantastic, but um, it's going. So basically, it's green again, ish. But um, like the fr the front is a lot better. I think the front is fine. Like I'm not worried about it because the thing is, is we just wanted to get the sticky off, and now it's not sticky on the front. So now we're just worried about the back making it not sticky anymore. And once that happens, then I feel like we'd, we'll be fine. We just need to be able to put the cloth on there, the cloth cover on there without it, you know, being an issue. You having fun? It helped for a little bit, but I'm, I'm sort of afraid I'm gonna have a reaction. Sort of afraid or a lot of afraid? Okay, I'm a lot of afraid. As long as it's not sticky, I feel like it doesn't really matter what color it is. Or do you care? Do you care? Mm -hmm. It's still pretty sticky though. So we'll, we'll cover this part black back part in duct tape. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Yeah. You push from the back. Uh huh. So these wheels have like zero traction, so they don't really go much anymore, but it's fine. Gotta let it, you know, get momentum and then you can push it I 
scratching the paint off. But it's yeah, fine. the paint is not on the wheels anymore, but that's okay. Help me. Forward, march! Good luck with that. We need to clean up all this shit now. <laughs> all right, so we put the seat cover on and everything in the cushion. She rolled it around a little bit. There it is. That is our product here that we've got now that we're done. Um, we have not tried it like in the dark or anything. Um, I mean, it'd be kind of difficult to do that um, because of like the fact that it's, you know, light outside. You can't really, you know, it's difficult to get it inside. We're gonna have to eventually bring it inside though. So we have to see if it still um, collapses with that back cover on. But other than that, this is a very thick cushion. It's very squishy. So there it is. How is it to ride? Like, is it, can you control it pretty easily? I know. It's difficult to get used to, I'm sure. All right, well, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and then we're gonna drive out there. Woohoo! So we're at Walmart now. We've got a limited amount of time, so we're gonna see how much time she can practice in it. definitely noticed that in the chair as I was trying to push because as I pushed because I'm stronger on my right side my left side like I'd keep turning left because my right side was pushing harder so for every for every both hands I pushed I also had to do one left hand so and I'm not sure how to completely turn yet while driving <laughs> um, I did watch um, wheels to walking um, he has tutorials on uh, wheelchair basics if you haven't watched it yet link is down in the description um, And that really helped like I was able to do those really short turns um, And just know to grab from the back of the chair, but it's really hard with my chair because there's not I, I can't get back as much as I'd like to Push my arm guys, so Yeah, it, it was kind of different and difficult, but like I think now, we, we went and we bought these gloves. These are like safety gloves from the hardware department. <laughs> and they have like groupies on select spots. And and they've got two touch phone things so I can use my phone. Um, and I think that's gonna work out. Um, I think that's gonna help a lot because a lot of what was happening was my hands were sliding on it. I couldn't get a good grip, so these should help. concerned that they're just gonna fit me for a Walgreens chair like a very basic and like well okay and let me let me let you guys know so basically people who have um, pots who are using ambulatory wheelchairs um, especially with that style of insurance because again the United States is not as up-to-date on these conditions as places like the UK is well, let's move. so in this situation I'm concerned, and it's not fitting you for a Walgreens chair, it's just a standard chair. Right. Like, it's not anything, you know, like, right. it's gonna be basically a Walgreens chair. Like, those wheelchairs right. are relatively similar. Right. Um, they're not gonna fit you for a lightweight one or an ultra lightweight because you don't have any joint malfunctions. Now, the so. only 
one thing I guess I'm concerned about when I was reading, because I was looking up ambulatory on, on Instagram too, I was looking up the hashtags and looking at all the different people looking weird. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Um, but one of the things someone with POTS had brought up is that she has a custom chair because of her chronic pain. So I guess my question to them is, is there going to be, like, am I going to have chronic pain problems if we don't do something? Which I guess we could do some support type of fancy support for my back, and that would probably work just fine, but I don't know. Um, uh, right now it's a lot of unknowns. We tried to get the foot rests. They don't really come separately. Um, for, but I from the stores we checked, because like I know that my, um, I know that the health store that I go through does, um, really does them separate. Um, I did end up putting my feet on the bars underneath the chair, and I didn't really have a problem with that at all. I mean, if I were to use a chair all day, like maybe my feet would cramp a little, but like it's called swinging your legs. I guess I don't know. I'm I'm discriminating. Okay. Um. Anyways, 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 anyways. <laughs> um, so basically, we're, I, my plan is just use the chair as is, um, and we're gonna wait for a call from insurance, and we're gonna wait for a call from the wheelchair clinic. My assumption, knowing, um, is that this wheelchair consult will take forever, and then it's gonna end up being a generic, which is fine. It's just, it's gonna take them forever for scheduling. I don't think that they're gonna put you in a custom chair. No. Cause Unless they're, they're trying to make me smile. That's where we're at. Okay, so we are now moving on to our next painting project, but we did want to like kind of end off this video and I'll, I'll put like finished pictures of the chair and stuff like that. Um, so are you happy with it? Yeah. It's more than I had, what, f three days ago? Yeah, we got this done in like a week. Um, so watch Gabrielle's guide on how to get a wheelchair approved in three days. And how to get a custom made wheelchair in three days. All, said, all of it done in three um, days. Um, regret, here our too. only regret is act, is taking off the garbage bags and spray painting the vinyl. That's our only regret, right? And the handles. And the handles, but we fixed regret. the handles. We did fix the handles. And then you just decided to put duct tape on I, anyways. No, I put the duct tape on and then I put the yarn over it. So I think that looks and better anyway. And started falling off the arm handles when we took it out, but it's fine. So that's where we're at. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll put more finished pictures of the chair here. And if you want to see me in my chair more, you could come over to my channel and subscribe. It's in the description below. To my crib. Um, and if you want to see another awesome wheelchair user on YouTube, you should just, well, on TikTok, I guess. I think TikTok is like where she's at more often, but I think she's also on YouTube. Wheelchair Rapunzel, I'll put her stuff down in the description below. She helped walking? me out a lot with yeah. some suggestions. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>